Hey, welcome back to the Anything Goes Project. Today, we got a surprise, an unboxing. The mystery box received from Night Eyes. So, uh, let's get right into this. In a sea of the dying and shameless, uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't wanna be one of the nameless. I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. Don't try to stop me, I exist to write my own story. I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory. Yeah, don't want a life that is complacent or possibly boring. I just want a life that is worth every day exploring. Uh. Okay, so we're gonna jump right into this box. Uh, Night Eyes was nice enough to uh, reach out to me and say, hey, we wanna send you some stuff to, uh, so you can check it out. And uh, here we go. So got a little knife and we're gonna see what we got in this package. This is, eh, get in there. All righty. I love it when we get mystery boxes because you never know what's inside. Ooh, I see something right now, right off the top. Oh, yes. I like hats. Look at that. Look at that. Heck yeah. A little Gear Genius Night Eyes cap. That's going to go good in the collection. That'll probably look good on me. Oh, it's even got the little Night Eyes logo on the side. That's pretty dang cool. I like that. Man, I like caps. I've got a ton of them in my office, so here we go. We got a big piece of paper. Let's toss that out of the way. Ooh, there's all kinds of stuff in there. <laughs> okay, next up we got the G Series Dual Chamber Carabiner. I've seen these in the stores. Uh, this is pretty dang cool. Let me go ahead and get this knife off so we can go ahead and get this little plastic doodads here. Boom, here we go. Look at that. You can clip your keys into this, bring them around, and clip them into that, and now you can carry your keys. You don't have to worry about them coming off. Uh, unlike some of the other carabiners that are out there on the market that have a clip here and then a clip here, and then you, uh, like, sometimes they come out. But this, your keys are not going to come off. And well, that's exactly what it shows right here, doing it just like that. So that is much lighter and more compact than the big S beaners that they have. And seems like that's gonna do pretty good to keep your keys in place. So that's a key solution. We're all about solutions here. Okay, next thing we got are the gear ties. I've seen these before in the store, haven't purchased any yet, but that's what they're for, holding your cables together. So let's see, let's pop this open real quick. I'm just gonna pull one or two out. Okay, yeah, ooh, those are quite bendy and yeah, that's definitely, that will definitely hold a bundle of cords together. I like that. So I don't wanna lose this, so I'm gonna stick it back in the package until I figure out what cords I want to get stuck together. Next up, the classic Radiant Rechargeable Micro Light, the LED Micro Light. These are, these are classics from Night Ties. I know a lot of people that have these and they really like them. They have the, just you just push on it with your thumb. So let me get this, out, this one out of the package. There we go. Probably gonna have to carry this one all the way around to get that out with the way it's shaped. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Read instructions fully to activate. I wonder how it's rechargeable. <gasps> there it is right there. Look at that. They're following through like with some of the other flashlight products that I like. I can't get my fingernail under that. There it is. Got a little micro USB port in it. That is nice. All right. 
and they've got their little classic S beaner on it. Is it a lock beaner? No, this one isn't one of their locking carabiners, but uh, that right there is pretty cool. I like that. I wonder if it's got different brightnesses. No, nope, looks like it's just one mode. I'll read the instructions though and find out. Uh, there may be some other modes to it, but I really dig that micro USB charging port that's in it. Uh, that's something you don't see a lot in these flat key fob style lights. Usually you have to pry them open and uh, to just to get a charge, on, uh, get a new battery in it. They usually use those little coin batteries. So that's pretty cool. Now I'm waiting on this last piece in here because I see it. And before I bring it out, I'm going to go ahead and grab another product and kind of show you the classic Night Eyes product. So pause. Okay, back. The classic Night Eyes doohickey. I did a little review on little pry bars and EDC and pocket gear that you can carry around. This was one of the products that I featured in it. And absolutely love this little tool. For as small as it is, it's got a lot of uses. So let's just see what we got here. Okay. They've upgraded the doohickey. Look at that, man. I just recently, and is there anything else in here? Okay. Oh, cool. I got a little letter from the marketing team at Night Ties. says, thank you for your great review of the Steely Squeeze. I hope you enjoy this gear. Night Ties marketing team. So, wow. Check that out, guys. So, that is from Night Ties. Let's, let's check this out. Okay, this is, I guess you would call it Doohickey 2.0. I like this. Let's, let's pry into this damn bad boy. All righty. Knife. Knife. Ooh. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Look at that. That just rotates. I like that. Pull that out. Get your bit out. And this is... Oh. <laughs> That's ratcheting. I guess you would need to do it the other way. Oh, wow. All right, bro. That's just damn cool. I like that. Okay, so I just recently did a review on another pry bar. I'm not going to mention names since this is a Night Ties video. Uh, and it had the bit driver in it and stuff like that. But, man, look at that. Can't even really see the attachment point. But you can hear that microphone right here so look at that okay let's drop through what some of the new tools are on this first of all holding it like this we've got the bottle opener you've got your wrenches and this looks like about a three-eighths and a quarter inch wrench nope it says it right there on it if you clean my glasses i could see five sixteenths and a quarter inch wrench okay then it's got on the side of it, running along here, just like the classic doohickey did, it's got a little bit of a ruler on it and a scale. This side's in inches, and this side is metric. So that's cool. Then you get your double-ended bits. You get two flat bits. You get a five millimeter flat bit, and it looks like a, f it doesn't say, five millimeter and probably a quarter inch flat bit. And then you've got your smaller and your larger Phillips bit. That's pretty cool. And then you got a carabiner, which Night Eyes is probably leading in the industry for these carabiners. Uh, I have, I've tried out multiple brands. The Night Eyes ones have never failed me. 
The ones that I've got on my bag, I've had there for six years that I use just to clip stuff on and just carry it around. Uh, I've had some other ones, let's just say Walmart carabiners, that like within a couple of days, the gate breaks on them and it doesn't hold anything anymore. So man, that's pretty cool. Now, I've also got a, uh, a scoring point, what they call a scoring point on it. So if you see the way it's shaped, it's not shaped like a pry bar, it's more of a dual taper. So I guess packages, rip it open, uh, scraper if you need to. And I guess you could use it as a pry bar. That's pretty smurfy, I like that. Yes, I said that and I just showed my age. So guys, thank you. This is from Night Ties. You can see it right here. I don't, doohickey ratchet tool. I'm gonna call this the upgraded version of doohickey 1.0, doohickey 2.0. You can see the difference in them. I really like that. All right, guys, again, cap, doohickey, key beaner, cable ties, and a flashlight. Thanks, guys. And if you like what I just did today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, just leave us a comment down below and let us know uh, some of the other products you would like us to review in the future. So with that, we're out of here. Ugh! <laughs>